Hi everyone, this is Jeff from Hometown Treasures. We're going to be doing some faceting with this machine right here. It is let's see, it's one that my dad had made back in the oh, it's the late '60s, maybe early '70s. I remember him working on it when he was when I was a kid, real small. Um, but he put a lot of thought into it. You've got your index gear here. Um, he made everything here. He lathed the gears. He lathed the mast. He put everything together. He did use a chuck from a quarter inch drill, but he put it on a roller bearing system here. So you can change that. He's got the cheater here. It's spring loaded to keep you in the right spot. He also has, if you can see over here, a light up there that goes on and off when you hit your hard stop. So you know exactly when you hit your hard stop, right there. You know when to stop. Um, he also has a spring that was taken from, I believe, a clock put on here so you don't have your head come crashing down. It'll gently stop. It keeps it from damaging anything. Um, he's got lots of travel up here. He's got like two inches of travel for your fine adjustment on the mast. It's all set up and put together and ready to go. And I did purchase it from my mom when last time I was up in Wisconsin and now I am in Wisconsin and we're gonna start trying to do a stone on this one. It's going to be interesting. It's set up for left-handed, which I am not left-handed. I machine right-handed. So this will be interesting. But what we're going to do is we've got ready to dot the stone up here. It's roughed up on the bottom and flattened out. I'm going to mix up some glue. plenty. It's been a while. All right, Let's get this mixed up. We got Riley here, a trusty sidekick. Actually, I'm the sidekick. She's a star. What do you think, Riley? Are we doing okay? All right, we'll continue then. We got the glue mixed. We're gonna start dopping up the stone. Got our stone dopped up. Got it in the quill. We're gonna start working on the pavilion. This is a fells bar sunstone has the same angles for the pavilion, suggested angles, as quartz does. So we're at it 42, and we're going to cut some main pavilion facets so we can get an outline going, and then after that we will work on the girdle.
completed the pavilion. We're going to get it ready for the transfer here. I've got the transfer dop out and we've got a cup to accept it. And we're going to go on from there and start the crown. Now we've got it dopped up and we're starting to cut the main facets on the crown. Here you can see the main facets are cut and it, we are at the pre-polished stage. Here's the main facets on the crown, and this is the polish. Here I'm using a cerium oxide lightning lap for polishing on the stone and at this point I am working on the brake facets on the crown. Okay. Well the stone is completed. It's three carats and it's uh, just over nine millimeters in diameter. It turned out pretty well. I'm happy with the results on this machine. It took a little bit of work and concentration to make sure that it stayed in the right spot. I had to keep adjusting the cheater because it would pop out of position. But other than that, it worked out pretty good. Cool. This is the first time I've ever made new potatoes in the microwave, so it may be a journey. For